you start a new habit, you want to start going to the gym more consistently. So you go for a couple of weeks and you know you feel nice because you're actually making progress towards your goals. You're being consistent. You're actually doing the things you want to do. And then you slip up. Maybe you eat a lot of junk food that you're not supposed to be eating. You're not eating enough protein because you know protein is what you need to grow muscle. Or you just feel tired and lazy because you can't. You just can't be bothered to go to the gym. And you know, you miss one day and you say, okay, it's fine. I'm going to come back to it. And then another day comes by and you still haven't gone to the gym. Then another day and the next thing you know, you haven't even gone to the gym for like two months. And you start again because you feel motivated to start going to the gym again. And then the cycle repeats. Does that sound familiar to you? You know, I've been trying to work out since I was 16. So about six, seven years now. I've been wanting to work out because I've had this goal, bro, because I've always been like overweight and fat and shit, you know, like man titties and shit, love handles. And like I had this really chubby face and like a lot of face fat. So, you know, I had like this double chin going down to like here or some shit, man. And it, it wasn't pretty, man. Like I looked like a fat fuck, if I'm being honest. But the thing is, I tried being consistent and I would go to the gym. You know, I'd hit a workout, I'd come back, and I'd feel good, bro. And I'd do it for a couple of days, and then I'd stop. And then do it for another couple of days, and I'd stop. And then I'd take breaks. And I was just so cons- consistent, bro. Like, if I stayed consistent going to the gym, do you know what kind of body I'd have at, by this point? Six, seven years of straight consistency. I make all these excuses, like... You know, I need to be on, like, a proper diet. But then I slip off my diet and I eat, like, takis and some shit. And then I'll have this mentality thinking, like, oh, I had a bag of takis. You know, it's fine if I go eat Doritos or some shit. If I go order pizza or some shit. You know, like, it snowballs, you know. Like, one thing leads to another. And all of a sudden, I'm off of my diet. Or if I feel tired one night. Like, I don't want to go to the gym right now. I'll, I'll go, like, at night for sure. I promise. And then nighttime comes and I don't go to the gym. And I just make another excuse, say, oh, you know, I'll just go tomorrow morning. And tomorrow morning comes and I don't go to the gym again. It doesn't even have to be just the gym, bro. You know, I tried reading for a while and I just, I couldn't read, bro. I'd read like two pages and I'd stop reading for like two months. If you're watching this video, I know you have goals. Like you want to do better stuff in your life. You want to do bigger things. Otherwise, you wouldn't have clicked on this video. But nobody teaches us how to be consistent. Nobody really like tells us like if you're struggling this is what you do and so we're stuck here scratching our heads like bro and we're beating ourselves up like why can't we be consistent but here's the thing about consistency you can't be doing like too much at the same time like me for example i wanted to start meditating because i'm told that meditating is good for my mental health i want to start reading because i want to learn more outside of school i want to be able to learn stuff about the things that i actually want to learn about I wanted to be more consistent in the gym because I want a better body because I want to get more girls and shit. That's really like my main focus of why I wanted a better body. This, so many other hobbies, but like running and shit, playing basketball. Like I have so many things I wanted to do. I tried doing it all at once. It it doesn't work, bro. Like you have, so, so you, have you only have so much like space in your head to like process it. You can do like an hour in the gym, you can read for an hour, you can meditate for an hour and blah, 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 all this like, like habits. You just go balls deep into it, like just jump it off into the deep end. Your brain is gonna turn on you. Your brain's going to be like, yo, what the fuck are you doing? Like, this is not normal, bro. Like your brain's gonna, your brain's kind of smart, but it's also really stupid at some time. So it's going to think that you're trying to kill yourself by doing all these different activities and shit. So what you want to do is like progressively overload into it. So let's say you sh- I-, I use the gym a lot because like the gym is like the most like straightforward analogy to use. But if you go into the gym, you're much better off as a complete beginner going to the gym like once a week. And once you're consistent with it, once you're able to go to the gym like once a week for about a month straight, then you can ramp it up to two times. 
then three, then four. And then by like three month three, you're able to go like every day, like as you wanted to. But you can't do that immediately because it's too much resistance, bro. Like you're trying to go from zero to 100. Like you can't do that. You need to take like baby steps along the way. Go from zero to 10, then to 20. Then you go on to 10, like 100, like after that. You can't just skip over. You know, imagine like, imagine you start crawling and shit, bro. Or like you're a baby. And the baby wants to start walking. Like the baby's got to crawl before it walks. So you can't just, <laughs> you can't just go from laying down on the bed all day and then just stand up and start walking. You gotta like crawl first. That being said, if you don't have like a clear cut answer of why you're doing what you want to do, you're always going to fail, bro. Like you know the person, the person who actually enjoys the activity for the activity rather than like what they can get out of it is going to like progress further bro like if you like running for example i started running a couple weeks ago so i'm using that if you enjoy running you're always going to outrun you're always going to outwork somebody who's only training to run a marathon in their life because they have like an end goal they know once they run this marathon that's it so they push as hard as they can to practice for that marathon but once that marathon's done they're done but then the person who enjoys running, who runs for a living, who runs and makes money off of it or they, they enjoy it or some shit, they'll run a marathon, then they'll keep running. They're not going to stop. Same thing with like somebody who's on like a diet plan. They will lose all their weight for that diet plan. But then once the weight's gone, it's you're only going to get it back because your sole intention was losing weight, not staying healthy. You need to identify with what you want to be. So if you want to be an athlete, you have to think like an athlete. You, you got to think what would an athlete do? An athlete's not going to cheat on their diet plan. They're not going to go eat takis and shit, man. And I've, I'm really guilty of this too because I had this goal of losing weight. But then once I lost the weight, I gained it back because my intention wasn't to be healthy or anything. It was just to lose weight so I can pick up girls. And it worked, bro. Like I lost weight and I got girls. But then once I fulfilled that desire, like I lost, I gained the weight back. Instead, you want to think of yourself like as an athlete as a healthy person if your goal is to be healthy like permanently in your life like you don't want to get diseases you want to stay healthy you want to grow old you have, want to have a, like a good enjoyable life then sticking to your goals of becoming leaner stronger faster it's going to be so much easier because this is what you want to do for the rest of your life you need to start thinking about it your mind is so powerful when it comes to that there's an, here's like another story i had a teacher right in first grade get stung by a bee and I, I'm, I'm like i'm really curious because i've never been stung by a bee before so i walk over to her and i ask her like what does it feel like to get stung and she goes into detail about like oh it stings it hurts like you get like a blister and shit and i'm i'm in first grade thinking yo this is the scariest shit that can ever happen to me bro and so i've been afraid of bees all my life thinking that bees are gonna hurt me like, bro, what is a bee going to do? This bee's like this small, man. <laughs> but because I believe the bee can hurt me, I've been a fear, or I've been afraid of bees for such a long time. Now I can go walk past some bees. Like, I still get that anxiety because I'm trying to, like, work through, like, the trauma and shit. But I'll get anxiety, but I'm not going to run away, bro. Like, there was this time when I saw a bee, bro. A bee landed on my food, and I dropped my food. And I ran to like the other side of the park, bro. <laughs> you literally need to believe that you're going to become an athlete. You are. You literally need to believe that you're an athlete if you want to be healthy. If you go around, if you go around thinking, yeah, I'm only working out because I just wanted to lose weight and something. You're not going to lose the weight. You might lose it temporarily, but it's gonna come back every single time. You know, you can like psychotically just repeat to yourself that I'm an athlete. I'm an athlete, I'm an athlete. You will repeat this like five times a day, three times a day, that I am an athlete. And every single time you think about it, you're going to align with what an athlete is. An athlete doesn't waste time eating like shit food all day, bro. An athlete actually like puts their training above all else. Like they're not gonna skip a workout because they're feeling sh like shit, bro. They might not have a great workout, all the time but they're gonna at least like have a workout consistently an author bro if you want to be an author if you want to write a book you have to believe 
You have to tell yourself that I'm an author. You keep telling yourself you're an author, you're going to keep writing. Because what kind of author doesn't write books, bro? What kind of author doesn't write books? What kind of athlete doesn't exercise? What kind of swimmer doesn't swim, bro? Like, if you tell yourself you this is what you are, your brain has no choice but to associate you with that. So don't neglect the power of your mind, bro. Once you do that, once you're progressively overloading in the habits you want to do so that you become more consistent and you start identifying with who you want to become after you become consistent, that's when you start becoming consistent, like proper consistent, bro. That's when you don't miss a workout. That's when you go on a run every week. That's when, you know, you'll do what you want to do, like without inconsistency. And when you do mess up, bro, what is the first thing you tell yourself? You can't have this like negative self-talk saying like, oh, I'm a piece of shit because I missed a workout. Like, why are you being so hard on yourself? Look at the progress you're making. At least you're trying. At least you're actually pushing yourself to become a better person. And now every time you miss a day or every time you slip up, you start beating yourself up for it. You got to take it easy, bro. You know, you just, you're just you just starting out, just starting to get consistent. Push yourself and actually like focus on the days that you are consistent rather than the days you're inconsistent. Once you've actually built up consistency, then yeah, you could be hard on yourself. But there's no point in being hard on yourself right now. That's how you stay consistent.